Hello, my name is Leo, and welcome to another reading of the Elder Scrolls. Today, we'll be reading from the Memory Stone of Makella Lucky by Makella Lucky. Alright, let's begin. This is a faithful re re uh, reproduction of the thoughts recorded in the me Makella Lucky's Memory Stone. Alright. Found in the Bangkorai Pass in the year of reckoning, first era 973, seven years before the fall of Osonium, due to the combined efforts of the armies of Dagafor, Sentinel, and the Order of Diaga. Almost all of this is the f is in first. Mm. Almost all of this is in the first person, as Makena was unfamiliar with protocols and scholarly formalities of recording herself into a memory stone. Nonetheless, her heroism and heroic deeds live on, her memories fresh in the stone for all to feel and hear. Mm, uh, I wonder if this will really work. Uh, the mage's girl took me, but... 25,000 gold crowns, if it doesn't, huh? Oh, right, I paid some money. Imagine, the stone will record my thoughts? What did they say? Just unwrap it from the silver foil and leather bag, and as soon as it touches my flesh, it'll begin to record? Ah, the pain! I must block it out. No one would want to hold my stone and hear my thoughts if I let it record my pain. Thank the Ebonam and the training I receive in the Hall of the Virtues of War. I can look at this pain. Um, just, uh, there. It's walled off. Yes, uh, I can still see it there just beyond my consciousness, lurking like a hungry wolf. A wolf that will soon come. That will soon consume me. I will also. I, I see my also. I see also. Damn it. I see also my inevitable death from these damn wounds. No potions left. The healing crystal and ring are used up. And me. With not even enough magic to light a candle. Oh. But the gods did give me other gifts. The gift of sword singing. The Thrill of Battle, Frenda Hunding's Book of Circles, The Way of the Sword? Ah, but then that is my story. I get ahead of myself. I am Makeda Ma, 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 Lecky, a warrior, a sword singer, a second level Ansai. An Ansai. In my cradle, I could form the Shihai. The spirit sword, the mystical blade, <clears throat> mine formed of pure thought, serpents intertwined with vines of roses, to form the blade as beautiful as... Ah, but I'm about to tell you all about that, to tell you my story, my story of valiant battle, to my loves, of my wars, of, of betrayal, and of this last glorious victory. To tell you of how I came to this distant lonely pass, me and five companions, to fight these men and monsters, to defeat the armies that would fall on my people like cowards in the night. But again, I get ahead of myself. I am a simple warrior. I grew up as a maiden of the spirit blade. As early as I can remember, I wanted to be a singer, to feel the hunger of the blade in my hands. To feel it come alive and take my enemies. I am told our people were artisans and poets long ago in our desert homes. Here in my new home, now known as Hammerfell, many of us have returned to those ancient ways, but to me there is but one way, the way of the sword. Ah, this is hard to tell. I grew up in my noble family, the only one of three brothers and two sisters that felt the calling, the song of the sword. 
further understood, for he too had felt the call. He had become a master, an ensign, long before settling down with our, in our, with, hmm? Settling down within our estate to raise a family. At eleven, I entered the hall of the virtues of ours, of, of war, sorry, and joined the maidens of the spirit sword. In my band, there were six of us. Daring Julia, Solid Patria, Big Catty, Hmm. Hmm. Can I look that word up? Sure can. Yeah, I'll be right back. Svelte, which means slender and elegant. Svelte, Kegler, Wiesel, and me. All are gone now, save me, and soon I will join them. Join them in the halls of the unknown gods of war. We drank together, we fought, we wept, we grew in the way of the sword. We joined in our learnings in the hall with our brothers of the blade, learning from each other. We all sat at the feet of the hall master, striving to learn the depths of the Shihai, making the spirit blade into a real weapon, as Frenda Hunding had. Only a few had the purity of heart and virtue to be able to take the step and learn the mysteries of Ansai. Sword Sainthood. Perhaps of all the brothers and the maidens, I only possessed the unique qualities, the faint but strong enough flicker of magicka to call forth the Shihai. Many times I called it, seldom uh, would it become substantial enough to be a weapon. To be an Ansai of the first level, you need to be able to call it, and that I could. So I became the first Ansai from our local hall in two generations. Oh, I have so much to tell, so many memories, so many treasures to share with you. My unknown companion, how do I start? Ugh, the pain is still out there lurking, hungry, slowly consuming what's left of me. I guess I'd better tell the final battle, tell of the final battle, uh, the one that has left me here, and then if I have the will left to tell you of my life, of my love, Ralph. Oh, what a lad he was. What times we shared. Ebenam, forgive me. My mind wanders. Let me go to the final battle. Um, to start, in the middle, hmm. Yes, we maidens grew, learned, l l learned, mastered the way, and upon completing the walkabout, uh, uh, to you who are not singers, this is a wilderness track emulating the times of friend our hunting, where we each wander the country, side, righting wrongs, defeating monsters, performing quests in the name of virtue. Some of us in our, uh, in our hall took years to finish. Always there is a danger. We six maidens each returned in our own good time. But many are they who did not live to return from the walkabout. We return each to our own lives to meet in the hall once a week to tell our stories to the new maidens and brothers. And to perform as instructors in the way of the sword. All was well till the night of the mid-year festival. All our people were reveling and... Excuse, enjoying the repast, but for we six maidens, it happened to it happened that the festival day fell on our day of meeting in the hall, our day of prayer and fasting and honor to the way of the sword. As we met late in the night, a knocking rang on our door. When I opened, there was a guardian. The Bankori Pass. There was a guardian, the Bankori Pass, in the Wathgraven Mountains. Wounded and near death, he, he told us of betrayal from the north, an invasion sponsored by the Crystal Tower of High Rock, led by King Joel of Daggerfall, our ally in the war with Athonium. Quickly, we used up a crystal of healing in restoring him 
to vitality. We sent him on to the king, while we six grabbed our weapons and armor of power, and as many potions, marks, and crystals and rings as we could carry. We flew to the past, hoping upon hope that we would not be too late. Our journey was not in vain, for we arrived at the very point where the last three guardians were overwhelmed by the horde. Into the past we ran, forming the old battle line, six abreast. Oh, did we fight! The song of the sword was a joyous noise, slicing through the ranks of evil. We fought for hours. Julia was the first to fall, a cowardly poisoned dagger finding a rent in her armor. Then, one by one, all fell, save me. Oh, cruel Ebenham. Then, my beloved sword, the sword of my father, the one that, with a serpent's crest, fashioned by the master swordsmith, singer Tensel, broke in my hands, all was lost. Our six lives spent in vain. Now, many, many of them would pour through the pass. I would be easy prey for them, like a newborn child. I wept in frustration. Then I remembered the hearth of their home, the book, Friend of Hunding's Book of Circles, the way of strategy. I reached for the Shihai, the spirit sword, that which I could never reliably form when I needed it. And behold, it was alive, alive with fire. It formed in my hand, ablaze with power. How many more pages are there? Oh, two more, okay. Oh, I slew it mightily. Right and left, like a scythe through wheat, all the ways of the Lord of the Tower I fought. With one blow I cut his magical armor asunder. One more took his head. But to do that deed cost me dearly. Wounds by the dozen, for although I had magical armor, it was not formed of spirit like my blade. It was not as invincible as my blade, nor my own spirit, and I was sorely wounded. With the felling of King Jolly, my his army crumbled. They fled before my wrath. All ran back through the pass, not even pausing to co collect their deed, their dead and wounded. All who could stand ran for their lives, and I slew all who could re who I, uh, I could reach. But my breath was coming short, and the pain. Finally, I rested on this rock, where you find me now. I don't know why I chanced to bring this stone along. I brought it on a whim, really, with the loot from. Oh uh, well, I guess I need to really stop and tell my story in order. I feel able to go on and tell you more. The eternal night is descending more slowly than I thought. Not just yet. <sighs> Am I ready to compose my death poem? A little sip of water and... Well, I think I will go back and tell you of my life. Maybe some details about the battle. And, oh yes, about Ralph and our children. Hmm... Where will I start? Oh, uh, I am a simple warrior. I grew up as a maiden of the spirit blade, as early as as early as I can re remember. Uh. And that was. It's very sad. That was uh, from the Memory Stone of Michaela Lucky by Michaela Lucky. Tune in tomorrow, not tomorrow, sorry. Tune in on Monday for a uh, another book reading uh, from the Old Scrolls. But for now, my name is Leo and I will see you next time.